So today's election day, and I'm out here talking to some of the voters who came to vote and ask them about what their thoughts are on the whole voting process. Um, it seems like a lot of people don't really go out and vote. Um, here in San Antonio, uh, we had 40,000 uh, voters for early voting turnout, and they were expecting only another 40,000 voters to come out on the actual election day. Uh, so around 80,000 voters were going to vote, or were expected to vote in a city that has a population of over a million people with at least 800,000 registered voters. So I was curious, I wanted to find out the people that do come out and vote, why do they vote? Um, why do they think it's important? And do you think that they can make a difference uh, in an election? So this gentleman here, his name was Mike, um, he said that he just always comes out and votes. He didn't really know why, he just does. And that he thinks that you should have a, a voice in your community, in your city, in your neighborhood, and that you should put in your two cents worth. And then I interviewed Joaquin, who's 27 years old. He was out here uh, voting at the polls, passing out some uh, campaign cards for a particular candidate that was running. And I was interested in his viewpoint because he's, he's relatively young. And um, from what I observed, it seemed like most of the people that were coming in to vote were older people. I didn't see a lot of young people coming in to vote, and that was, was very con a big concern to me. So I asked him uh, why he thought it was important to vote, and uh, he seems to have a very big civil rights background. Um, he talked about how he thought it was important that the minorities um, all across come out and vote, and that our parents, say from 30 years ago, um, struggled to get the right to vote and that there were a lot of fallen heroes that were fighting so that um, the minorities could vote, such as uh, the Kennedys and um, Martin Luther King. Um, he also um, made the point that in voting you can improve your city such as the parks or stadiums for the schools and make it easier for the uh, parents to go out and see the sporting games that their kids participate in. So one of the other questions I asked some of the voters um, was if they felt there was a generation gap, um, that is that the older crowd votes and the younger uh, citizens simply don't go out and vote. And some of the responses I received um, were that uh, back in the 60s it was that way as well, even during the Vietnam War, and there was a draft going on, and even with that, young people didn't go out and vote. And now we have the war in Iraq, and you would think there'd be a much better voter turnout um, during election times. And it doesn't seem to affect whether or not voters will go out and vote if there's an actual war going on uh, with our country. I thought that was an interesting point. So then I interviewed this couple, uh, Michael and Cheryl, who I would describe as the a baby boomer generation. And... Um, some of the comments they made, well, Michael mentioned the comment about that back in the 60s, there was a low voter turnout uh, during the Vietnam War, um, and that a lot of young people didn't vote, as I mentioned earlier. Um, he also mentioned something that I thought was interesting, and that was that in many other countries, uh, the citizens will line up all day or for days for the opportunity to vote, and they get a 90 to 100 percent voter turnout because they do really value having that right to vote and that here in the U.S. Um, we probably take that for granted and that's why we may have such a low 
voter turnout, you know, at 10%, which was about the turnout in this election. And he also thought that the powers that be wanted that way, that the less people vote, the more things don't change. Um, because if a lot of people go out and vote for things, that can cause sweeping changes um, in laws and, and governance. So I thought that was an interesting point. And his wife Cheryl was just totally disgusted when I gave her the statistics that only 40,000 people were ex expected to vote during election day in the city of almost a million people. And she made the comment that you can't have a democracy if you're not exercising your right to vote, which I thought was a very good comment.